Uh, hello guys, uh, we are from Maze League uh, Propellers, Czech Republic, uh, and we prepared for you a short video about our static thrust calculator. My name is Radovan Dite and I'm aerospace engineer here in Maze League, and I'm sitting here with my colleague Ram, uh, which is also aerospace engineer here in Maze League. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have prepared for you short uh, presentation about our static trust calculator. Uh, this calculator is available on our website in technical data section. You can download it for free. Uh, this calculator is based on our multicopter propellers measurement, which we perform in house. And then we do uh, interpolation and extrapolation to provide you with the data for different configuration diameters and different type of uh, different number of blades uh, of the our of the shelf multicopter propellers. This uh, calculator is uh, quite precise because it uses uh, real measured data. We have prepared a short uh, case study for you to present present you how to uh, work with the with this uh, calculator. Yeah. So um, first thing the calculator needs is the weight estimation of your drone. So uh, in this case study, we will assume that the weight uh, maximum takeoff weight of the drone is 20 kilograms and it's going to be a quadcopter. Uh, and this calculator can be only used for uh, multi-copter uh, UAVs. For fixed wing, we have a different calculator. So in this, uh, we'll see only about the multi-copter uh, uh, drones. So let's say the maximum takeoff weight of the drone is 20 kilograms, and it's going to be a quadcopter. So uh, if you want to uh, calculate the thrust per prop, you divide the number of propellers by the takeoff weight, which is 5 kilograms. That's the weight ratio of 2, which means the maximum thrust per propeller should be 10 kilograms. So the hover thrust is 5 kilograms, and the maximum thrust is 10 kilograms which is per propeller. And the operating condition is a standard uh, international air standards, which is uh, 1.225 of uh, air density. And we can also assume that there is a max maximum diameter that you can fit on the airframe is 30 inches. Uh, even if you don't don't have any kind of these restrictions, you can um, if and if you want to know what diameter to use, we have a calculator called uh, disk loading calculator. Uh, in this, you can see a meter here. So you should always have it in the green region. Try to have it in the green region. So it's basically if you put in the diameter, uh, which is 20, let's say 26 inches, and the required thrust to hover, which is five kilograms. And then you can see that uh, the disk loading is 143 Newton per meter square. You should always try and have it as low as possible, but definitely we should not go more than 200 Newton per meter square. If we go, then probably we will fly only for a short duration or the aircraft is gonna be too heavy that it, it won't be able to take off. So you can also try putting in different numbers. So if you increase the diameter of the prop, you can see that the disc loading is reduced. And if you reduce the uh, diameter and the disc loading goes up, or also you can also try to increase the uh, required thrust to hover and then uh, the disc loading goes up. So, um, so we can, ideally we should have um, lower disc loading. So we can consider something like 26 inches So next slide, yeah. Yeah, so um, using our um, static, static trust calculator, uh, we uh, estimated the mechanical power consumption for three different uh, propeller diameters. Here you can see how our static trust calculator looks like. Uh, 
here is the input section where you can input the diameter, number of blade, uh, required thrust per propeller, and air density uh, when where the propeller should operate. Uh, and based on this data, the calculator calculates for you the, the required mechanical power, torque, and RPM when the, the propeller will generate this uh, required uh trust so yeah we we can easily type to 22 uh, inch propeller number of blade two uh required required trust 5 kg and uh yeah the air density is 1.225 so you can see here that the rpm is uh, around 4430 the torque is 1.33 newton meters and required mechanical power uh, is uh, around 620 watts so we created uh, sorry we created this this uh, uh, simple uh, table uh, to show you how uh, does the diameter uh, of the propeller re uh, influence the required mechanical power and it's obvious that with uh, decreasing uh, disc loading, the, the requirements on the mechanical power uh, decreases as well. Uh, regarding the motor selection, um, we need to calculate the um, power, that uh, maximum power uh, of the motor for the maximum thrust. So. Uh, we already discussed in the specification that the thrust rate weight ratio is 2 and the maximum thrust per propeller is 10 kilograms. So we can change uh, to 26 inches prop and the maximum thrust is 10 kilograms. And here you can see the mechanical and electrical power. Well, there is a um, section called motor efficiency, which you should give given some number. Uh, ideal, a good motor propeller setup should have should have approximately 80 percent efficiency at hover point and uh, about 75 percent efficiency at maximum thrust level so uh, at this point i will leave it to 75 percent of motor efficiency and then you can see that the required electrical power is about uh, 2000 watts and the rpm is 4500 for a 26 inch prop to produce uh, 10 kilograms of uh, thrust um so um so either way if you use 22 inch probe then accordingly the uh, electrical power will change will increase because of higher disc loading uh, here uh, you need to consider two important parameters which is the power of the motor and the rpm um, so um, you can check um, you can when you select a motor you should make sure that you have minimum of uh, 2000 watts and the kv uh, the combination of kv and voltage should be in such a way that uh, the um, uh, the motor can spin the propeller at the required rpm okay so here you can see with the three different propellers uh, we assume we assume that the motor efficiency is same and we get the elect corresponding electrical power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our static thrust calculator has few additional features. One of this feature is that uh, we can change uh, number of blade. So for example, if you want to reduce the RPMs, you can add the blade and the calculator will calculate for you the, the uh, reduced RPM with this three-bladed propeller. You can also insert the four-bladed propeller if, if you want. Uh, the cal calculator also show, show you if this uh, propeller is off the shelf or not. So if it isn't off the shelf, off the shelf propeller, uh, just contact us and we can customize the propeller according to your needs. Uh, another feature is the 
is that uh, that we can change the air density, for example, for platforms uh, which operates at a higher altitudes where where the air density is lower. So, for example, you can type uh, lower air density to 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 check the how does the performance of the propeller will change. So um, using this calculator, you will be able to roughly calculate, accurately calculate the mechanical power and roughly calculate the electrical power. Uh, if you know the motor efficiency, you can calculate that pretty accurately too. And using this tool, you will actually get some guidelines to choose the motor and you can and if you and uh, you since you get all you also get the power consumption you will also get the very rough estimate of the flight time if you know the uh, battery capacity um, yeah you can download this calculator in technical section from our website yeah maybe one more important thing which we should mention is that uh, uh, here in the section propeller performance, uh, you will find the the, the performance of, of the uh, given parameters of, for for chosen propeller. So this is for four bladed twenty six propeller, and you can use it uh, for the propeller motor matching process. For example, if you are if you are in touch with motor manufacturers, this data will be very helpful for for them to customize the motor for you. Yeah. Uh, back, uh, do we have any questions? Okay. No. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Thank you for your attention and enjoy our calculator. Thanks. Bye. Bye.